Having set up Kids Gallery Group in 1996 and later establishing Youth Diabetes Action in 2001, what are your top three tips for entrepreneurs in Hong Kong? So my first tip would be definitely to, to have courage. As an entrepreneur, it's always scary when you take that first step. There's always the fear of failure, the fear of being shamed because your business didn't work out. But if you truly believe in what you're going to do, if you have done your research, done your planning, and you truly feel that you have something special, something different to offer, then have the courage and go for it. My second point would be flexibility. The market changes so quickly nowadays. The idea that you started off with may have changed within a few months and you may have to tweak your, your business plan, your offering, your service. Some businesses end up being completely different to the original idea of the founder. So being flexible means that you can actually gain feedback, review what's working, what isn't working, and make changes quickly if you have to. And then number three, I would say network, especially in Hong Kong. There's so much that can be gained from meeting new people, learning new skills, running ideas by people, going to talks like we've had today. Networking is so important. Operating a business is not just about a skill set. It's about working with people and learning new things and that's what you get from networking. Currently, what do you see as the biggest challenges for childhood education in Hong Kong? A generation ago, when children did creative arts classes, they genuinely attended the classes because they wanted to learn how to paint or how to sing or how to dance. Now, there's a lot more pressure on children to perform in a certain way so that they're more competitive a much more competitive world. It's difficult for parents, it's difficult for the kids themselves. The parents are very focused on the children's skill set. So when a parent sends a child to an arts class now, it's not always about just learning to dance. It's more about developing a, a trait like being more confident or being able to give a presentation or have stronger communication skills because the parent thinks that these abilities will help the child later whether it's in an interview or in future life so there's definitely a shift in the way that children are attending these classes in the way that parents are thinking it's a real challenge because we can't as parents continue to put this much pressure on our children of course we're doing it for the right reasons. We don't want our child to be the one that's left behind, but we really have to look at our children as a whole, see what their strengths are. Not every child is academic, not every child is artistic, but there is a role for them in the future, whatever their strengths are, whatever their weaknesses are. Sometimes we need to take a step back and remember that and not get caught up in the anxiety and the frenzy of trying to do what everybody else is doing. It takes courage though to be a little bit different in the way that you bring up your child. It's a real challenge. I don't think it's just Hong Kong. I think it's in most developed countries. There is this this mindset of making our children as competitive as they can be. Ideally, parents should all just try and relax a little bit and let their children be who they're going to be. <laughs>